Alright guys, it's Mr. Lynch coming back at you with another great math video. But as always guys, before we start, make sure you hit like, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you are ring that notification bell so you can see these videos as soon as they come out. So today's lesson, 2.3F, practice finding the slope of a line. So remember guys, slope, the way we find it, is we take our rise, divide by our run. Or we have our change in our y over our change in our x. Now the rise is how much we're going up or down, and the run is how far right or left. Up is positive, down is negative, right is positive, left is negative. Remember these as we're doing this. So, when we're calculating the slope of the line on the graph, what I like to do is I like to find myself some nice points. And when I mean nice points are, I mean they're crossing on grid lines. So, like, if we look at this y-axis right here, we're crossing right at the point where y is equal to negative 5. And if we look up here on the x-axis, we can see we're crossing right when x equals 3. So we got ourselves some nice points there. Now, what you guys should not use is you guys should not use a point like this. I can't tell exactly what fraction that is. I'm not going to use that. I can't tell what decimal precisely. If I can't be precise, I'm not going to use it. So we're only going to use points that we know for a fact. So where they cross in grid lines. This point, and we'll use this point as well. So now let's see how far over am I going. One, two, three. So my run is three. And my rise we're going up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our slope here is 5 thirds. As you can see, we built this triangle, 3 and 5. Now let's look over here at this other one, at part B. Uh, let's find some nice points. Ooh, there's a nice point right there on the y-axis. And now we can't use the x-axis because I cannot tell what fraction that is. But that's okay. We'll come down. Ooh, there's another nice point. Some beautiful, beautiful, nice points there. And if we want to find a third, it's right here. But we really only need two. So, how far are we going down? Because you guys know how I like my right triangles. We're going down one, two, three, four, five. So if we're going down, it's going to be a negative five. And our run is positive one, because we're going to the right one. So our slope then is negative 5 over 1 or negative 5. And you guys know how I like my right triangles with the right angle in the bottom. So that's why I did my triangle that way. Alright, so for each pair of points, calculate the slope of the line passing through each pair. Find one other point that lies on the line containing the given points. So. How we're going to do this, guys, is which one of these is farthest to the right? Well, let's look at the x value, the bigger x value. This one's farther to the right. So that means that this is our x2, y2. This point right here is our x1, y1. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at where do we start, where do we finish. And as always, guys, when we find difference, we take where we finish and subtract where we start. So, and, and always, guys, we have our y over x. So, where we finish is y2, so we're going to do a negative 6 minus 4, divided by negative 5 minus 10. So negative 6 minus 4 gets us negative 10. Negative 5 minus 10 is negative 15. They're both negative, which gets us a positive 10 over 15. And we can simplify this by pulling a 5 out of both of those. We can agree that they're both multiples of 5, 10, and 15. And if we multiply by 5 on top and we multiply by 5 on the bottom, we're undoing what we're trying to do. Which means we end up with 2 thirds two thirds so if our line has a slope of two thirds let's go up let's figure out let's find one more point so if i'm going to find one more point this means i'm going up two and to the right three so i'm going to go to this first point 
I'm going to add 3 to my x value. So negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. And I'm going to add 2 to my y value. And I'm going to get 6. How did you guys let me make a mistake like that? How could you? How could you? You guys just sat there and watched me make a mistake. After all that work we put in. Thanks, guys. So, what did I do wrong? I did x1 minus x2, and I did y1, y2 minus y1, so I flip-flopped them. We need to stick with the same point. So because I have the 6 here, I need to put the 10 underneath it. And then we subtract that negative 5, which is the same as adding, which gets us a positive 15, which makes us a negative 2 thirds. Come on, guys. After all that work we put in together, I can't believe you guys would let me do something like that. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. All right. So again, x2, y2, x1, y1. We're going to take our y2 minus y1, so 4 minus 0, and then x2, which is 0, minus x1, which is 1. So then we get 4 over negative 1, and that will give us a slope of negative 4. So as we move over 1, we're going down 4. All right, so let's calculate the slope. So this is a lot of what we've been doing in class, guys. This is exactly what we've been doing in class. We're going to look at this change in our y. We're increasing by 1 there. And look, and divide it by the change in our x, which is increasing by 1 there, which means that we have a slope of 1. Now, in that first section, you're going to do this method. In the second part, you're going to actually subtract these points. So we're going to take 5 minus y1 is 4, divided by x2, which is 4, minus x1, which is 3. Well, that gets us 1 over 1, which is 1. Let's do one more. Let's do 3s. I like 3s. Alright, so we're increasing by 3 here. And we're increasing by 3 here, which means change in y over change in x. 3 over 3 is 1. Now let's try this the other way as well. So 12 minus 9 divided by 3 minus 0. Well, 12 minus 9 is 3. 3 minus 0 is 3. So 3 thirds is 1. So I'll let you guys answer this question on your own. Why are the slopes the same no matter what two points you use to find the slope? Give you guys a second to think about that. All right, so now that you guys are back and you guys have thought about it, if you didn't think about it, go think about it. The slopes, why are they the same no matter what two points you use to find it in on specific lines? Well, that's because this is proportional. We have the same unit rate, and that's like asking why is, you know, two-thirds the same as 60 90ths? Well, it's because when we break them down into our simplest form, when we take those fractions down into simplest form, we get the same thing. All right, we can see that 2 thirds and 60 90ths, well, 60 90ths is just 2 times 30 divided by 3 times 30. This triangle, remember we're going back to slope triangles, is 30 times bigger or 30 times longer sides. That's all it is. That's the only difference here is that the triangle is either bigger or smaller. But that ratio is the same. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. As always, hope you enjoy the math. Make sure you guys hit like. Make sure you subscribe. And make sure you are ringing that notification bell so you guys can see these videos as soon as they come out. And, guys, we'll see you later this week.